Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolute Care Health Clinic. Now, one of the biggest things I talk about the most uh, with my clients um, through the emails that I get is the difference between hair loss and hair thinning. Okay, so hair loss is physically hair falling out, but the resulting hair thinning may appear to you to be hair loss, but it is not. Now, you need to understand correctly which one it is. So we all have a hair cycle, growing, resting, falling. The hair falls out because there's a new hair growing. Now, that happens to between 70 and 160 hairs over our entire head every single day. So when we want to see is your hair loss normal or not, we may need to do a hair count, okay? So if you're washing your hair every day, you're allowed to collect up to 100 hairs a day, 160 we said, but we say average 100. Always do your proper brush therapy as we've taught you, and if you are not doing it, um, drop us an email and we'll show you how to do it. So when you're brushing the hair, you collect the hair. When you're in the shower, you collect the hair. When you're styling the hair, you collect the hair. And then you're going to collect all the hairs, and you're going to line them out individually, and you can see, do they have a hair bowl? Are they full length? or are they short hairs? You count the long ones with the hair bowl, you count the ones without a hair bowl, and you count the short ones in between with or without a hair bowl, because you can also have hair breakage, which appears to be hair loss. So if we find we have more than 100 hairs per day, okay, that means that we may have what we call diffuse hair loss, that the growing hair has been pushed to prematurely fall out. Now this can be called telogen effluvium, can also be called antigen effluvium. Either way, it's hair loss, and you might have double or triple the amount of hairs falling out. Now just consider you have noticed more hair falling out and you're going to stop washing your hair because you think that makes your hair fall out. Well, then you're going to wash your hair, say, once a week, it's every seven days. Now on a normal hair loss, you'd collect 700 hairs on that day. So just say you're recovering from hair loss and you're doing what we call avoidance behavior, you're only gonna make uh, it appear to be more hair where actually it is not. So we would suggest you wash your hair at least twice a week, or if we're doing treatment with you, it's every second day or three times a week. Now if you do have hair loss, the cause was potentially three months ago, and your professional should have helped you identify what it was and tell you when it will actually stop. So understand through the hair count the difference between hair loss and the resulting hair thinning. Now this can be done on short hair and long hair. So we do have some specific instructions on how to do this, uh, but always do it with your brush therapy and your proper hair washing, because if you're just collecting hairs, you're gonna get the wrong count and potentially scare yourself. So if you want more information on hair loss treatments and the hair count, hair loss, hair thinning, diffuse hair loss, please drop me an email, it's info at absolute.com.au.